Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be starting off a new series which is called How to Counter the Meta. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is breaking down the good matchups against the Meta Brawlers. So for this episode, obviously we're going to be looking into Spike. So this is off experience from Scrims and Ladder in general. So obviously, uh, you won't always have this good matchup. It's very map dependent a lot of the time, but... These are just the brawlers that I've realized that counter spike the most. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the first brawler. All right, guys, jumping into the first brawler. This one, I believe, counters spike the hardest. So it's going to be uh, Sprout. So it's got, obviously, this map is not obviously always going to be on a rotation, but it's just a good example to show how to beat a spike lane because these lanes are very, very uh, wide. And obviously, spike uh, is going to be countered by Sprout. And the main reason for this one is because spike actually free uh hits uh well yeah sprout free hits spike so it's really easy to hit your shots on him especially when he's in the open but yeah spike is literally everywhere right now uh sprout's best mode is definitely going to be like gem grab and bounty you won't be seeing uh spike in bounty at all but on side inside of gem grab you see a ton of spikes so definitely using sprout either mid or lane is going to be really good for the spike matchup so as you can see i'm easily winning this matchup not even a worry in the world we are playing obviously in friendly, so if you guys want to be involved in videos anytime soon, uh, I normally get people from my band, so uh, it's definitely a good perk to have once you're in my band. But yeah, you can just see how he, Spike just literally can't do anything. The only way Spike can really win his lane is if someone else helps uh, win his lane for him. But yeah, it's just basically an impossible task if you've got a good Sprout on your team. There's just no way uh, you're going to be able to win your lane. So yeah, not really having to concentrate too much inside of it this one but yeah poor little spike he's gonna get free up by sprout most of the time as i said you can either play sprout in mid and just keep shooting down this lane or in other situations you can just shoot down a spikes lane you, you're gonna literally free tap him or just play him down the lane but that's gonna be the first brawler that's completely hard counter spike let's hop into the next one all right guys so the next brawler that hard counters spike i'm gonna be picking surge so the only thing about surge maybe he's not the best on this map and he's obviously really hard once he's in the first stage. But what you want to be doing for that first engagement, you want to just be TPing on the spike. Get your super straight away. It doesn't really matter if you die. Literally exactly like that. This is how uh, Tom mainly plays it in competitive and how most of the time we play it on ladders. So you just want that first stage. Now you've got that first stage, you'll be able to dodge in more shots um, way more frequently. But yeah, the reason why Surge is a good counter to spike for sure is because he free taps him just like Sprout. So... You want to use your supers really aggressively and use it to take him down. I need to heal up, but this uh, this gene actually isn't even allowing me to heal up at all. So once I heal up, I'll just TP on this spike and uh, basically free tap him here. I'm missing all my shots there, so that's a good play from Spike. I auto him literally all of them. But I should be able to take him down uh, here. Nice sniper from the Piper. But yeah, normally Surge is used to counter Spike on Brubble. So basically, a lot of the times in our scrims, we've been using Surge to counter Spike. And it's a really good pick, as I said. Once you get that third range, uh, you can easily outrange a spike. And as long as it doesn't take you literally the whole game to get your first level, uh, you're going to be having a good matchup. Obviously, when you're in your first level, the surge really, really slow and the curveball just completely counters him. But with the star power, uh, once you die as well, you're still going to be keeping that uh, little bit of a speed. But as you can see, I could just keep spike out of this bush so easily. It's nothing he can really do, to be honest, whether... Uh, the other way he's going to be catching me out is if I'm really low and he doesn't allow me to heal or the mid helps him. But now I've got my max range. Spike isn't going to be able to do a thing down this lane. Uh, you saw how badly I struggled in the first engagements. Obviously, this is more of a late game tactic. And again, in Brubble most of the time, this is when I'm using Surge. Uh, you, it's kind of weird to see Surge still good in the meta, to be honest. Everyone thought Surge would completely die. But then once Spike came into the meta, people started using Surge in scrims. And start using them in competitive and obviously the main reason for this is because of spike literally just because of spike so it's kind of strange how brawlers are just uh, really dependent on other ones in the meta whether they counter them or not but that's going to be surge a really underrated brawler in the meta and spike counter and spike one of the main reasons for that let's hop into the next brawler okay guys so next on the list it's going to be tick so tick is a really surprising pick to most people just because um he's not really been used in a gem grab a lot but a lot of the time, uh, you'll actually see uh, people might be a bit weirded out when they see us in scrims or in competitions. Who's using Tick in like Brubble Lane on like Sneaky Fields or another map like that? So the main uh, time you use a Tick is when the map's more open and hasn't really got a lot of grass. But as you can see, 
I literally know the spot's going to go down this lane. And in competitive, uh, for a, a reason, normally you like watch the scrims or you just kind of know which uh, lane the spike normally goes down. And if you send a tick down that lane, it's so hard for a spike to do anything, especially with a very recent buff to tick where you're able to cycle supers much quicker. To, uh, tick actually is becoming a lot more meta now. And for sure, obviously, to counter these brawlers, tick probably best mode is going to be bounty. Spike not being played in that mode, but uh, tick slowly becoming more viable, as I said, in uh, uh, lane for sure. Especially when like Max is banned. Maybe Tick isn't the best option for ladder. But in terms of competitive, Tick definitely is a good choice. I'm going to be losing uh, my control down this side. Just because our mid lost that battle. But yeah, you just seen literally the whole game. I kept Spike back. There was just nothing he could do. And especially in gem grab, I'm going to be saying Tick is a very good lane option against a Spike. There's a few maps in the game like Undermine. Like this one where Spike literally is inside of every single comp. When I'm trying to push ladders. So definitely picking Tick is a good choice uh to completely counter him but looking like this other team are going to be getting out with the gems but yeah tick a very good choice you're going to see a common theme with throws being a good counter to tick uh to spike because of how squishy he is but uh this isn't a bounty one because uh normally throws are used in bounty but obviously this isn't a bounty one tick got to be a really good counter to him in uh, gem grab and rubble but that seems like it's going to be the end of this game unless we can somehow get a spike in spawn i don't think we're going to be able to do that now we're going to go down so yeah that's going to be another counter to spike let's hop into the next one all right guys heading right into the next brawler that counters spike really well it's going to be mr p so mr p really hasn't been uh too too meta at the moment i've not been seeing used him competitive at all it's quite surprising because he's a good counter to spike obviously spike again pretty squishy and mr p is going to have the range on him for the majority of the time obviously it's going to be really hard for me to scout the bushes I don't really want to go into a close fight with him. He's going to actually take me down there. But once I get start getting my pets, I'm able to scout the bushes and get him down. So again, another main reason why Mr. P counters him is because he's so squishy. You can just um, slowly chip him down. Rubble, Mr. P is going to be good in. I mean, uh, Mr. P is literally good everywhere. I see I'm actually really struggling because he got the grass pretty early on. But one more shot away from a super and I should be able to take him down pretty soon. He's actually doing a really good job with the curveball, which is a really annoying star power. But uh, we're obviously using the optimal matchups here. I mean, I'm in a friendly room at a minute. Spike's keeping me really far back. To be fair, he's actually getting my pets pretty low. Let's just uh, use his ammo deficiency to push up. Uh, he's actually healing up in the bush back there. No, he's actually to the left now. Should be able to actually get some hits. So, I mean, we're saying uh, Mr. P counters him. But with all these bushes, maybe Mr. P isn't the best uh, option for him uh, to face on this one. I mean, once I get some position, it should be pretty decent. Uh, still, <laughs> I'm absolutely, I'm getting spawn trapped here. I'm trying to explain how much he counters uh, Spike. But I mean, this Spike's been doing a really good job. We finally managed to get him down. Maybe once I get some positioning, I'm able to keep it. So, uh, yeah, Mr. P mainly, I don't I don't even think he's that good on this map, to be fair. But Mr. P on Brubble, Mr. P's going to be really good at countering him there. I see a lot of times on the lanes where, for example, like on Super Stadium or Triple Dribble, we brought out a Mr. P just to counter him. And it's just gone so much better. And this, this was when Spike weren't even this good in the game. Spike was like in the competitive meta to counter tanks and now he's got a buff he's just everywhere so yeah Mr. P is going to be a really good option you just watched me get spawn trapped for so so long but yeah probably not the best map for Mr. P this one but I'm talking in general other maps there's a ton more maps where you can use Mr. P on Mr. P is going to be good everywhere in gem grab as a mid or a lane good everywhere near enough on brewable as a mid or a lane but yeah that's going to be the next brawler that counters Spike uh, I know I just got dominated, but that's going to be the next one. Let's hop into another brawler. All right, guys, heading into the next brawler that counts him really well. So normally this isn't, uh, normally this matchup is in Brawl Ball, but it's going to be Gene. And you might maybe surprised, obviously, because Gene is a mid, but this is obviously mainly due to the fact that you can get a pull on the spike and free shot him. So uh, in Brawl Ball, it's really easy to get a pull on a spike because, as I said, he's just really squishy. And you don't even need backup from your uh, teammates to take him down. You can just solely solely take him down every single time. And that's one of the main reasons why uh, you're going to be countering him. So as you can see, the main uh, the main source of this video for countering that you're going to learn is Brawlers that are really good at free shot and spike. Obviously, you can see there. It's really squishy. You're going to get taken down pretty easily. But a lot of the times, all the time, uh, when we're looking to counter spike, uh, we normally go like Gene mid in Brawl or something like that. And uh, you can just pick on him because a lot of the times uh, enemies will go Brawlers that are not like um, completely squishy. So um, 
normally you kind of have to focus on them type of brawlers so i'm going to go try and go over to the lane side of things all that spike and free shots and we're going to get actually get closed down by the leon then we're going to get completely uh pinched down but you can see if that leon didn't help him i would have just taken out down that spike without an issue at all uh the old teammate using gale not really the best pick at all um but yeah hopefully this max speeds me up here should be able to take down that Leon. And then once we get the speed up from Max, we're able to auto him the pull and get the pull on Spike. Easily taking him down every single time. It doesn't even matter if you've got low ammo. Uh, you can just maybe use your gadget just to knock him back and get some more ammo, even if you pull him. But I'm about to get another pull. Again, I can just probably focus the Spike. No issues at all. I'm just going to pull this Leon here. We should be able to use gadget to stay alive. He's going to go down. Then I got my pull straight away back. Max with his speed. I'm just going to rush on over again. We're going to look for a pull on this spike. Maybe if he gets in range. We're actually going to get taken down there. Maybe this isn't the best uh, <laughs> best gameplay again for countering him. Just because of the, like, the comp we're using and the map we're playing Gene on. But you kind of get the idea that you can just pull a spike near enough any single time. As long as you've got enough ammo to take him down successfully. It's going to be pretty easy. So that's going to be the next brawler to counter him. One more brawler left. Let's hop right into it. Alright guys, heading into the final brawler that I believe hard counters spike the most. is going to be Sandy. So... You already realized that Spike gets free shotted by the Sandy. So that's going to be the key factor for this one. Sandy, a lot of the time, is going to be pretty hard to build up your super in this kind of meta. But once you get that super, it's all about cycling it over and over again. We're actually facing Sprout down this hand lane, but it's all about uh, duking your way up. I'm going to get my super nearly one shot away from it. And once I'm able to do that, I'm going to switch lane though. If it is Rosa actually switches because Spike can be pretty decent against the Rosa. Sandy going to be pretty decent on this map. All about duking your way up. Trying to get some shots on him. One more shot away from a super, actually. Let's just use my um, gadget to heal up. Once I get a super, a lot of times in Brubble, again, Sandy's going to be the best, one of the best brawlers in Brubble to counter Spike. Side of Gem Grab is going to be pretty hard. So I can just use my Sandy super here to push Spike all the way up. Uh, normally, I should be able to get close to him, but uh, Rosa doing a really good job to take him down there. I'm just going to try and sneak my way up into this grass. Let's get some decent shots. Gene's going to be over there in the grass. We're going to look to try and take him down. We're actually going to get taken out. Uh, but good job. Our Rose is play playing pretty good. But yeah, another good pick for Gem Grab inside of a lane. It's all about kind of juking spike shots, trying to get close to him. And uh, with Sandy, it's really easy to hit three of your shots. And that's one of the key things. You can hit the shots around the walls. You can use your super to get really close to a spike. And uh, Spike's main weakness, as you've clearly seen in this video, is how squishy he is taking him down. We're actually going to get uh, pulled there and completely countered. And they're probably going to end up winning. But you've just seen a gist of it. Didn't really do too much inside of this game. But um, you get the idea that you just need to be a bit sneaky. Uh, play together and try and get that spike down. So that's going to be the next brawler that counters him. And that's going to be the final brawler. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you really enjoyed. I'll be carrying on this series. So let me know what brawlers you want me to try and counter in the next video. Probably looking at doing this weekly or every like five days or something because it's a really interesting video. Not enough of me people making obviously a lot of time in scrims. We kind of scrim to try and find out which brawler counters which. So I believe I have a really good understanding of this in the meta also i didn't include barley as you probably gathered literally all throwers counter spikes so definitely get a good advantage off of that but that's going to be the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you all next time